so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna install one of these this is a Samsung wireless fast charger I've already opened this one up so inside here we have of course we have the top plate we don't need that we have the bottom throw it away and this is what we're gonna save and uh, put in here and hopefully it's gonna fit but we will just find out in a minute and the uh, next part uh, next step is uh, open up and clear all the junk out and um, I decided to drill a hole in here in the corner small hole here um, size just enough for your cables or whatever you're gonna poke through here and this is gonna come out easily in the bottom under here next to where all the fuses drop down and um, yeah so I'm gonna install one of these to give me the 12 volt outlet where I'm gonna put Yeah, I'm gonna put one of these on so I get um, USB and that goes to a cable that goes back to this one so yeah should be easy let's see so just loosen and remove these two fiddly screws without actually loosening them I'll put them in the In order to get this uh, this one off, actually I just had to fry it off here in the front. I just used my hands, and then as I get along, all of the this one is open up. It opens up over here, and then I pried it over here carefully, and then it comes off. It's just attached with these small. It's like a, it's like a hook basically. There is uh, four of them in the front, four of them in the back. And they have this uh, fabric on it. I think that's for uh, vibration damping. And here you have the screw holes, as you see. And under here we just have a sound insulation, I guess. Sound damping. So, let's see what's to do next. Peekaboo! So what I did here is I just broke this small tab off, actually and uh, this was the uh, most convenient way so i broke this one off and that's gonna allow me to get a little bit more space this one just goes um, in the center here so it's not really doing much except keeping it sideways but i think all of the rest tabs will be enough and the screws so now it fits in here so yeah i should probably also demonstrate that the charging actually works uh, before i start making this into a permanent um, idea so let's see if I find it I'm gonna find the location I'm gonna mark this out a little bit better later to just find where did you go there we go from here through the hole and the hole is going to be covered by this small, small piece of plastic here so it's not going to be visible the actual hole is just going to come through here and up here to the charger so after that just wait for the glue to dry I have some glue on here and uh, some tape to hold it in place and after that it's just put this one back and uh, probably obviously should do something with uh, this one because there is need for cooling on this one so we don't want it uh, overheating so I'm probably gonna cut away a circle here just to give it enough space and let's start with that so now the wireless charger is in here I actually had to cut away a small piece of this one the plastic here because uh, this piece that would be 
um, it's supposed to be this way it would be in the front towards the front it would it would catch on um, this one so I had to cut away a little bit but now it should be fitting so so how to get to the fuses down here is actually quite simple there is supposed to be supposed to be because I lost mine there's one here and then there's the other one over here the screws two screws over here and uh, they're just this hand version hand tightening whatever and I have previously connected my power over here so I'm just gonna connect into this one and I'm gonna find somewhere to put the ground and is I actually drill a small hole here and this is where I'm gonna put my ground as you see here there's a big ground cable and that one is the is the ground cable that goes here to the to the frame uh, so yeah, I'm gonna ground it in here on this one well, now everything is wired up we have the positive going to this one it's at the relay over here and this is where I'm taking my uh, positive from and uh, I just bundled it up a little bit here and uh, we have the ground coming to over here like it just showed and uh, time to try it cable comes out over here so last step is to put these two screws back on this one and this one and it's tight and you gotta check them so it's uh, even on here because um, this is where it caught before where it didn't really go all the way down but now it's down it works it opened up and uh, let's get a phone that um, charging stopped charging on yeah it works finished